Alright y'all ladies and gentlemen bitches, recording live from the Muffship, how's everybody doing man, I hope you're all good. This is part 4 of this Shadow of the Tomb Raider walkthrough, I don't know when I'm going to stop saying Rise of the Tomb Raider bruh, I don't know why I'm doing it. Shadow of the Tomb Raider walkthrough. The wreckage. If you didn't see the last episode, you need to go back and check that out, it ended mad intense yo. So uh, that the, the, the Jaguar in the end, he smelt me and he really, he said you know what? You smell kind of hard. Like, I ain't gonna fuck with you. I'm gonna let you live. I'm gonna I'm I'm subscribe. And he didn't really... He took his dead homie. He was like, you you a bitch. You let me down. But we're gonna come back. But when he comes back, he's gonna help me. I guarantee it. I'm guessing I'm going in the water right now. Maybe not. Uh, where, where? Where? Where do we go? I'm sure it's up here, but like... It's usually pretty clear if you can climb up these things. And it don't look like we can. Was this the wrong way? There's nowhere to go around here. I ain't had a chance to really go through the options and stuff to see if I could put survival instinct back on. I'm pretty sure we're meant to go up there. But let's backtrack just in case. I don't want to backtrack too far though. Like, like we come back to the, 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 the Jaguar's pit. His arena. And it doesn't look like there's any anywhere for us to go around here. Apart from his hiding spots where he was running like a bitch when I was working him. I was whooping his ass. Yeah, there ain't nowhere to go. It's somewhere up there. Like, I don't see nowhere. Watch, watch me get there and it be so obvious where we're meant to go. Y'all know, there's nothing I hate more than just not knowing where to go. Like, when it's just not clear. Oh, I see. I probably shouldn't have missed that, but I completely forgot you could climb trees. I f completely forgot. This is why we need tutorials. They didn't tell me. They didn't remind me I could do that. I mean, we've already been on a branch already, but... Alright, I know now I could climb trees. Give me all that shit. I ain't playing with you, piggy. Even if I just gain a couple more subs, man, from this walkthrough, I'll be happy. I just, I just want this walkthrough to do well. I mean, I think we're coming up to 1.5. I don't know. I haven't checked recently. We're coming up to 1.5, which I mean, it's nice, but the goals for the channel are so much higher that it's like, I don't, I don't want to focus on that too much, like, 1.5 isn't really, it's nothing special. Alright, now I know this is where we came from, but we didn't check this area thoroughly. I think we did actually, I think we got everything that's here. Alright, let's proceed to give you what you need. Yeah, we can't miss all this good stuff. I don't even know what half of this stuff is that we're picking up, but it's got to be useful. Alright, you can't climb on them type of trees. It's got to be this one. You see the trees, they got these little markings on them. Progress past this point requires the climbing axe. So I gotta find my climbing axe, but how do I... I mean, where is it? How is one to know?
I mean, it wouldn't make any sense for my, my gear to be around here. Current objective, explore a backpack. Map updated. <clears throat> So survival instinct doesn't put your, your 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 stuff on the map, but I guess we could set a waypoint. No. Damn. They really ain't trying to help us. Who is you? Alright, so I guess we could climb like around the back of this tree. No? We're gonna have to jump on from here. It's been a bit of a slow burner this game. Not too many action sequences. Which I'm not too mad about, but at the same time I wanna shoot somebody. Okay, there's nothing. Woo! Almost dropped. Nothing around there. I mean, ugh, requires a climbing axe. We have to get a climbing axe. Where is it? Like, I'm saying though, like, where would it be? Like, it was on the same plane that all the rest of my shit was on. I'm guessing. Like, why wouldn't it be? She said she didn't pack them all together, but I assume that just means that she didn't put them all in the same box. But they surely were on the same plane. And the plane crashed in one place. Well, like, yeah, it did, it did kind of break in half. Damn. These graphics are good. The plane. They nice. Jonah, are you there? What's wrong with your arm? Uh, some sort of parasite. I was looking for some wormwood, but it doesn't grow around here. Let me see. <laughs> what are you doing? If we leave it in there, it'll only get worse. Sit. Uh, you sure you know what you're doing? Uh, <laughs> I had something similar happen to me when I was a child in Egypt. I won't lie, it's gonna hurt. You think that storm from earlier was the storm? The one from the mural? I don't know. Uh, uh, I think maybe we should stop and take stock. We've been pushing so hard forward, <laughs> flying into that storm. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. I... Well, I should have insisted we turn back. I mean, I get it. You lock onto a problem and everything else just disappears. <laughs> I, I, I'm with you. It's my choice, most of the time. But if we die, who stops the cataclysms? Who keeps Trinity from doing what they want? Sometimes I feel like I have to keep going, and if I don't, then I'll just let everyone down. 
Maybe for the sake of a few hours, we could have turned back. <laughs> Maybe we should give him a name. Okay. Eli? No, my cousin. He's always trying to get under my skin. <laughs> Goodbye, Eli. Thanks. Anytime, I've got plenty of duct tape. If we can find Kawakyaku, we can rest for the night. Sounds good. She said Kawakyaku. <laughs> if we can find Kawakyaku. All right. I think we can see the village through the vines over there. We find the homie Jonah. I'm glad you stayed at the crash site. Well, if you were out there, I wanted you to be able to find me. Yeah, I think Miguel was heading toward it when. I so to an extent we found like a part to uh to free roam because I'm guessing this whole area we could explore. That stuff where it said like uh we need this and that to to do it. I don't How think do that's the main story. Arm anyway. uh, I was trying to figure out if the water was clean. Got my answer. <laughs> All right, let's check out some of the upgrades we can get. Stuff you said. So this is like the base arrow. I don't, I don't really want to. But if it is true, it's important enough to die for, or for Trinity to kill for. So this is really about revenge. No, no. I... When I took the key, I also felt a power pulling me towards something. It's real. If you felt a power pulling you when you took the key. Is it in your head now? No. It left me when Dominguez took the key. If it's that strong, how can you be sure? Hmm. We can get through here. Give me yeah. a hand. That seems like, that sounds weird. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just me. She got him cakes. You see that? It must be Kwakyaku. We have to get down there. So I'm guessing when we get to Kwakyaku, we can, uh... You sure this we, is a path? We can Come on. start free roaming this stuff. This is definitely not a path. Hey, listen. You owe me, bro. I just took a parasite. I, I don't... I, I never... Under, like, how does a parasite get into your arm like that? Like, I don't understand. Almost there. I guess Almost. I need to... I don't, I don't know nothing about parasites. Uh, I guess I need to... Learn more. But like how does that get into your arm oh like gosh. that, right? You're right. I'm okay. Just a couple more steps. Okay. Okay. If that's me, I couldn't get closer to the wall. You're all right. I'm walking with my feet okay. completely okay. squared. My feet are gonna be like that. There ain't no way I'm taking all precautions to make sure I don't drop. I'm gonna be walking with them you clown feet. It could have been the Inca. They knew a lot about hydraulics. You know I'm going for 100% on this walkthrough. I hope this and Spider-Man. I think this might be a little Maybe bit easier than Spider-Man. Maybe. Just because Spider-Man has those collectible newspapers and the secret pictures. That's the only thing that's really keeping me from getting 100% on Spider-Man. At least during the walkthrough. Eventually we'll find them all. This water is drinkable. <laughs> you want to try it? Uh, I think I'll stick to the bottles you found in the cargo from the plane. Yeah, I wouldn't bet. You talking about I bet. I wouldn't bet. Because if you bet they're drinkable, go ahead and try it. So as I was just saying, like, in terms of the burn arrow, we're probably going to find new ones. You know, if I had known how much time I'd spend in the wilderness, I'd, I'd have paid more attention in Boy Scouts. <laughs> Wasn't your thing? Well, my family situation meant we didn't get to do a lot of stuff like that. So yeah, we're probably gonna get more bows, so I don't really want to upgrade it too much. Uh, but as for like the knives and the the climbing axe, we're probably gonna have those same ones throughout the walkthrough. So those, to begin with, I'll start focusing my upgrades on what that. What about you? 
You ever do Girl Scouts or Nature Camp as a kid? Mm, does boarding school count? <laughs> I don't know. Does it? <laughs> Probably not. But Roth showed me some things. I always preferred the company of adults anyway. <sighs> yeah. I miss that guy. Me too. Hey, that did something. I think the water powers the bridge somehow. Like, they really created the baddest bitch. Like, Lara Croft is the baddest bitch. Your arm should heal quickly. Yeah. I feel a lot better already. <laughs> like, they didn't make, they didn't make no sexist ass character with just like, triple E breasts and shit and, and a black china ass. They, they made it's it look, heavy. but she's still Give far. She's still far. <laughs> still not the man who's loose. And she beautiful all up in the face. The water's filling the bucket. Good. And she's bad. She whoops Isles. Alright, let's go ahead down there a bit. Ugh, the bucket's leaking. Come on back. We'll try again. Oh. Okay. So wait, we need to pay more attention to what that done. What bucket is leaking? So that went all the way down, so I need to maybe get there quicker, I don't know. I think that's what I need to do, I think I need to get there quicker. Ah, this bucket. Alright, so let me head straight down, and I need to catch it. Don't worry, don't worry, just a little bit, just a little bit. There we go. Okay, Jonah, you can let go. That's it. Let's get across. I know how to craft arrows. My bad, watch this. Geronimo! Light work. Guess we go through here. After you. What's that? I think it's some sort of stealer or... Help me with this. Sure. What is it? It's a recipe. Seems to be a mixture of herbs. It could help if we run into any more jaguars. <laughs> Let's hope we don't. Way out is over here. Alright. I have the eagle. Hold and tap to use perception plants. What does that mean? Perception plants allow Lara to sense animals and natural resources throughout the environment. Okay, I like that. See, that kind of, like, that's a little bit better for me than just always having, like, if they had survival, this is the thing, if they had survival, if I was allowed to use survival instinct, I would we'll use it. To the village. But I would feel bad about using it. Back to civilization. Because, like, this is what I was talking about in the Spider-Man walkthrough. I feel like that's kind of making games too easy nowadays. That in all games, pretty much, you got some sort of survival instinct or eagle vision. When it usually don't even make sense. Like, a lot of the time, you're just using a regular-ass human. Why would they have eagle vision or something? Like, like it makes sense that Spider-Man has it. I mean, there is supposed to be... But Mary Jane? Of gold like... In Peru. Paititi, every... I think we can get out that way. Like, why does Mary Jane have one of them? She's a regular-ass bitch. Help me with this. One, three, two, one. <laughs> Oh my god. Come on. Laura, where's the flare gun? He said, Hey, yo, remember my boy? <laughs> Yo, you got nyam the fuck up! You got nyam up! Oh no, we can't afford to be wasting wasting shots like that, man. 
There we go. Make them count. Make them count, Laura. Stop it. Hey, I dodged that, bruh. Alright, heal. Heal. Make these shots count, bruh. Is you running? Is you is you done? Y'all finish, y'all done. Hey, don't I'm just I'm just making sure he don't come back. And he came back. Where's Jonah? I'm out! I need more. Mo fa ya wheeze. Oh, they release it automatically if you. Just wait a second, Jonah. God damn it. All up in my ear. I don't even know where you are, fam. Okay, plant that. I don't know what for. Where are you, car? Oh my god, I was just about to let it go. Where yet though? Alright, we're doing it without you, Jonah. Kill. I see you, bitch! You asked for this. You could have went back to your own hood. But you wanted to try my gangster. You know I let my nuts hang. <laughs> you wanted to try my gangster. Okay? Help me with this. Should have known better, fam. He pulled up on me like, yo, you remember what you did to my boy? <laughs> so you thought we forgot nigga Treyway? <laughs> your back looks bad. Cause I just got fucking destroyed. I'm gonna go make camp. <laughs> I just got annihilated. And you talking about make camp? Help me! Did you see that? That was no game. Nigga was really eating me. He said, "Think we forgot, nigga, Trayway." Let me take a look at that. It's not pretty. <laughs> you know, with everything we've been through recently, I've been thinking about my brother. I always try to protect him from my father, from himself. But I lost him. You did everything you could. If I had been in the right place, the right time, he would still be here. If I had eyes in the back of my head. You can't protect everyone. Thank you. I miss him. I know. My parents. I miss them too. I had a dream about my mother recently. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It was so vivid. <laughs> I 
When I was little, my father used to keep things from me. Hide things. About her, especially. Why would he do that? After she died, he thought they'd cause me pain. It didn't stop me from looking for them, of course. <laughs> Your dad created as many mysteries as he solved. Dominguez said that he would use the silver box of Ischel to remake the world. If you had that power, what would you do? <laughs> Panic, probably. Hmm. You wouldn't go back to when your brother was alive and be with him again. Um, and lose everything else. No way. I like this world. It's... It's not perfect. But everything I love now is in it. I like that. I fuck with that line. I like that. Ain't perfect. To claim her treasure. The adventurer Lara Croft must outwit the king, reach the forbidden tomb, and solve the mystery of the White Queen. The way will be fraught with trials. Lara, are you doing your math homework? The adventurer should not dally any longer. In a minute, Dad. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna do one more episode. I think one more, maybe two more. But they're all gonna be in a playlist anyway, so again, check it. <laughs>